In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys my best tips for how to get accepted to merch by Amazon. So if you are a print on demand t-shirt seller or you want to be in the future, stick around for this video because it's going to be a good one. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. If you're new here, my name is Greg and I like to talk about online entrepreneurship and sharing the resources that I wish I had along my journey. So if you're interested in making money online, feel free to look around the channel and consider subscribing. In today's video, we are going to be talking specifically about merch by Amazon. This has been a highly requested topic in the comments, so thank you guys for requesting this, and I think it'll make for a great video. The main thing that I wanna talk about in this video is how to get accepted to Merch by Amazon. If you are new to print on demand, or if you've been in print on demand for a while, then you know that most print on demand websites, you can just go on, create a free account, and get started on day one. However, with Merch by Amazon, which is Amazon's version of print on demand, you have to actually request an invitation. Not everyone gets accepted, so I wanna to put together this video to show my best tips on how to get accepted and how to do it quickly. So first things first, just to make sure we're all on the same page, Merch by Amazon is simply a print on demand service through Amazon. So if you go to their homepage or if you just Google Merch by Amazon, you will see the landing page and there's the button for request invitation, but you can read a little bit about Merch by Amazon's program and how it works on this landing page. Essentially, if you're familiar with Teespring or Redbubble, the other big players in print on demand, Merch by Amazon works the same way. You create the designs or the artwork, you upload it to the website, and then whenever someone purchases that design on a t-shirt, Amazon will then print it and ship it out to them. Another cool feature with Merch by Amazon is that they have prime shipping. So most people have a prime membership on Amazon, so they get free two-day shipping on the items that they purchase. Now, very briefly, before we move into the requesting an invitation and the tips on all of that, I did wanna just note that Merch by Amazon is a great print-on-demand program, and I always recommend it for the main reason of Amazon has a huge client base already. People are very familiar with purchasing things on Amazon, so that works in our favor. If we create a t-shirt design and we upload it to Amazon, people are familiar with that environment and they're not afraid to make a purchase. So now let's get into the good stuff in this video, the actual tips on how to get accepted to Merch by Amazon. As a side note, if you guys do enjoy this video and you've liked the other ones on the channel, I always appreciate the thumbs up. So if you can click that, thank you so much in advance. All right, let's get right into this. So once you click that request invitation button, it's going to have you log into Amazon. So if you already have an Amazon account, you can simply sign in there. If you do not have an Amazon account, it takes 30 seconds and you can create a new one just like that. Now, if you are creating a new Amazon account, just remember the email address that you're logging in with because that's going to be what you use in the future to log into your Merch by Amazon account. So right after you log in, you're going to be prompted with the three major things that you're going to need for the application before you get started. These are your business contact details, your bank account and routing numbers, and your social security or tax identification. Now I know those sound pretty confusing, but I'll walk through all of these and they are very simple. First things first, the business contact information. Just know that you do not need to have a separate business entity to do Merch by Amazon. And as a general statement for all of print on demand on the different websites, you do not need to have a separate business set up to do it. Now, if you do have a business set up for this, then you can use that no problem. But if you do not, then you just use your first and last name in the business contact information. Now, if you already have a website set up that's getting traffic, if that's an affiliate marketing site, a blog, whatever it is, you can input this in your application, just showing Amazon that you already do get traffic and you'll be forwarding that on to your Merch by Amazon listings. But if you don't have a website, don't sweat it at all. You don't have to put anything in here. And then moving on to bank account and routing numbers, this is a really important one. So what they're looking for is that they can actually pay you. So you have to select your country or region and not all countries and regions are supported yet. So if your country or region is already in the list that they support, then you can just select it and go through the prompts. That'll be very easy to input your bank and routing number information. However, if your country or region is not in the supported list yet, then you have to do one extra step. What this extra step is, is going to payoneer.com and you can create a free account there. It's very similar to PayPal, if you've heard of PayPal before, and you can set up a free account and it's basically made for international payments. So all you have to do is go to payoneer.com and apply as an individual and then wait a couple days until you get accepted. And then once Payoneer accepts your account, you just have to go to global payment service and then select United States and then you'll have an account number and routing number right there. That's what you can input on your Merch by Amazon application. So moving on to the third thing here, this is social security and tax identification. Now, if you are located in the United States, this will be very straightforward for you. You just fill out the information that they're asking for. However, if you're located outside of the United States, you may not have this specific information. Just put some type of identification, whether that's your local tax paying identification. It's different for different countries and regions, and they do have more information. You can click the little eye icon, and it'll give you more information of what's supported and where. 
But if you have some kind of specific identification for you in your country or region, that's what you want to put in the application. And if Amazon needs more information, they will contact you for that. But just put in some type of ID that you have. So that should cover the three big logistical parts of the application. But now we're moving into the part that really determines if someone's going to get accepted or not. And this is what Amazon's looking at as long as the logistical things check out. So what this is, is the additional information section. This is extremely important. And I'm going to go over my top tips for what you need to put in this section. So I've got seven things that you need to focus on for what to put in this section. First things first is if you have any type of traffic that's coming to a website, an Instagram page, a YouTube channel, anything, you want to note that in this application and let them know that you already have traffic coming to you that you are going to be forwarding on to Merch by Amazon. In Amazon's eyes, what this means is you are going to be bringing additional traffic to Amazon and that is a huge win for Amazon. So that's number one. If you have any type of traffic that is already coming to you, make sure to put that in the application. If you don't have any traffic, then you can leave this part out. But if you do have traffic, definitely put it in. Number two is you want to make clear that in the designs that you are uploading and the titles and descriptions, you will not be infringing on anyone's copyrights. One of the most tedious and time consuming things that Merch by Amazon has to deal with is filtering and reviewing all the designs that are uploaded. When someone uploads a design or has words in their titles or description that uses a company logo or brand name or something in it, Amazon then has to flag it through their system, go through review, and then suspend that listing. That takes up extra time. So if you already tell them in this additional information section that you will not be uploading anything that infringes on copyrights, they know that this is going to be saving them time down the road, and you are already aware that you don't wanna be putting logos and things that are copyrighted in the designs, titles, and descriptions. Number three is you wanna be sure to say that you actually put a lot of time into your designs and you make quality designs to upload. This way they know that if they accept you, you're not going to be uploading designs that really just flood the Amazon marketplace and don't look good, no one's going to be buying. They wanna know that you're uploading quality designs, so make sure to say that in your application. From all the graphic design tools that I've shown you guys on this channel, you really are creating and uploading quality designs, a lot better than most people that don't have access to these tools. So whether you know it or not, it's a very true statement, and that's why you wanna include it in your application. Number four is if you already have designs ready to upload, make sure to put that in your application. If you guys are already using the other print-on-demand platforms, Teespring, Redbubble, and you've already used the graphic design tools to create designs, then you probably have them sitting in a folder ready to upload. Make sure you tell Merch by Amazon this, and that way they know that if you get accepted, you're going to be an active user on the platform. Number five, this is a really big one. You wanna make sure that you let them know that you have read their terms of service and you understand them fully. It is a big hassle and time-consuming process for Merch by Amazon when they see that someone's doing something that's violating their terms of service, and then they have to ban that account. So by you telling them in this application that you've already read the terms of service and you understand them and you're not going to be an issue going forward, it takes a lot of risk off of them accepting you and it gives you kind of a leg up in this application. Number six, this is another big one and kind of an overarching one, and that is make sure that you do not have grammatical errors in your application. Look over this additional information section a few times before you submit it to make sure that everything makes sense, there's no grammatical errors, and it looks professional and looks like you put time into this application. And number seven, this is the biggest tip that I can give you, and that is to not come off as if you are begging for them to accept you. You want this additional information section to have the vibe of you are the one bringing value to their marketplace. You don't want it to be, please accept me, please, I really need this, I need to make money, I need to make extra income. You don't want that feel, rather you want, hey look, I create awesome designs and people are buying them on other platforms, but I wanna add them to Amazon because I know it's reputable and I know you have a big customer base that will love these designs. As you can see, there's a very big difference between the two, so that's my biggest piece of advice. Try to go with the feel of I'm bringing value to you and I'd love to be a part of your platform. So those are the big tips for that. And now a couple side notes, just know that it can take a couple days to a couple weeks to hear back from Merch by Amazon on this application. With that said, you don't always get an email right away and sometimes it goes to the spam folder. So what I would recommend is just leaving this on a tab and checking back every day or every couple days to see if you can log into your account. If you can log into your account and it'll allow you to upload designs, then you are in, that means you've been accepted. If you still get the request invitation page, then that means that they are working on your application and just give them some time to get back to you. Now, once you are accepted to Merch by Amazon, some really important things to know when you're getting a brand new account is that it works on a tier system. So when you first get accepted, you're going to have 10 slots available, meaning you can upload 10 designs and that is the maximum until you get 10 sales. Then you'll be moved into tier two, which is 25 slots. 
So you will then have 25 available slots to upload designs. And then once you get 25 sales, then you move into tier three. It keeps going up and up and up. So the more sales that you get on your account, the more designs you'll be able to upload. With that said, in the beginning, you kind of have to be strategic about it. You only have 10 slots to upload designs in. So what I recommend doing is uploading your 10 very best designs. These do not have to be related in the same niche, just your 10 best designs. And if they don't make a sale within 60 days, that's kind of the time frame that I give it to see if it's going to sell or not. In this first tier, when you only have 10 slots available, if those 10 designs are not making a sale in the first 60 days, you can remove them and you can swap them in with 10 different designs. You wanna give yourself the best chance to get sales in the beginning because the whole strategy here is to keep moving up the tiers so you can upload more and more designs and you wanna get as many designs uploaded as possible and then you'll have the most lines in the water and you'll be making the most sales every single day. So with that said, some tips on that are follow the trends. If you're approaching a holiday, then you want those 10 designs in the beginning kind of to be geared towards that holiday and you can always swap out these designs at any time. Time. Now, another huge thing that's specific to Merch by Amazon is you can actually purchase your own shirts and that counts towards your sales for the tier system. So in the beginning, if you wanna expedite this process, you can actually buy your own shirts to move right into the next tier. Then you have more slots that you can put shirts into. If you're going to do this, I recommend lowering your prices a little bit so it doesn't hurt your wallet as bad when you're purchasing all these shirts. Just set a small profit margin on that shirt and then you can purchase them and you can actually see the quality, which is nice as well. Now, two more really quick things that are important for you to know is that the way that Merch by Amazon works is when you upload a design, it has 180 days to make a sale. If it makes a sale, it will be permanently listed on Merch by Amazon. If it does not make a sale within 180 days, then it will be automatically removed from Merch by Amazon. With that said, you can easily just re-upload the same design and it'll give it another 180 days to get a sale and then be permanently on there. But it's just something to be aware of. And this 180 days recently switched from 60 to 180. And there's rumors that it's going to go to 365 days. But just know that there is some type of limit, whether that goes longer or it stays at 180. That's something to be aware of. And the last really big thing, which is commonly asked, is that you cannot buy or sell Merch by Amazon accounts. So for for someone who can't get accepted, just know that you cannot purchase one off of someone else. And for someone who has built up a pretty big Merch by Amazon account that's generating a lot of revenue every month, you cannot then go sell that for a profit. So guys, that's today's video. I hope you got some value from this. If you have any questions at all, feel free to let me know down in the comments. If you like this video, I really appreciate the thumbs up. And as always, I'm going to link up a couple more useful videos for you guys. So feel free to check those out. All right, guys, I will see you all in the next video.